Hey guys, so I am going to be doing two days um, daily makeup video. I do have the lotion that I like to use. Um, it's Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, this is something I used when I was probably about 16. My best friend had it and I loved it and so she would always let me use it. It was probably one of my favorite things that she let me use um, because I wasn't able to have it when I was younger because we just couldn't afford it. But, yeah, so thank you, Andrea, for getting me in love with this stuff because it is awesome. I think you can buy it with, like, a pump on the top. Mine is, like, a twisty top. But I didn't feel like going back and exchanging it. I figured I would use it, and then if, I, if and when I had to get more, then I would find a squeezy top. Usually after I do my um, lotion, I do this makeup. Mm, sorry. You can't really see it because the sun is coming in from here, but it's Ulta Makeup Setting Spray. Oh, it always makes me jump. I don't know why. I know a couple of people do a couple of squirts, so um, I would just do whatever you feel like you need. So today I'm going to start off with my blush, and I'm doing... Illuminate. It's Ashley Tisdale's. This is the Cream Cheek and Lip Tint in Red Velvet. Again, if you need help getting your cheekbones just right, you just kind of suck in like a kissy face or fishy face or whatever. I probably just put on way too much. But you know what? I'm exhausted and I'm going to have red cheeks anyway, so I'm not too worried about how red it is. I'm going to be doing this Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter 035 Apple Candy. This is the same shade I had on yesterday. And also, before I, I put this on, before I started, I put on some chapstick, the Aloha Coconut. I just always like having some chapstick on before putting on lipstick because I feel like it just feels better. Um, New York City Color Wheel. This is the 723A Pink Cheek Glow. And I am a blush lover, so I'm just going to put a touch on, even though I don't need to since I already put on the other stuff. And I'm still using my blending brush from yesterday that was e.l.f. Um, I think it was $6, but I didn't really have time. We've had a, a long, busy week and stuff, and we just haven't had time to do much of anything else that we should be doing. It's way easier putting on makeup using a mirror than trying to do it on your phone. <laughs> and so I'm using Wet n Wild um, Studio Eyeshadow Palette. This is like, I don't know if you can see, I got a couple of like creamish tans and then purple and grays. I started off with this last one, which is a black sparkly. Well, it's actually more of like an elephant gray, which is like just a dark. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this purple color, the third one in. Again, 
nothing super fancy. Um, if you want to, I don't really have, oh, I can use this one. I didn't want to use the one with the black. But I'm using my other e.l.f. brush. I'm just dabbing in that purple. And put a touch over there. If you haven't watched any of my videos, um, yesterday I was telling everyone that if you take your camera when you're putting on your makeup and you flip it so your home button is actually on top, so you're kind of upside down, um, I find that easier to put my makeup on when I need to do it through my phone. And if you're somebody like me who has eye allergies, I typically don't try to, unless I have like a, a liquid liquid eyeliner, I try not to put it right on the bottom of my crease because I have eye allergies and then I also wear contacts and so I don't want them getting trapped inside my contact if I don't have to. Today we are going to be using this e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara. This is not the same one as yesterday. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this one either, but I just grabbed whatever one I can find. I just don't feel like any of these really. Making those weird faces. Feel free to um, leave a comment in the description below with your favorite mascaras. I just feel like a lot of the mascaras I buy, and granted, this one that I bought yesterday is just a cheapy one. Um, it's just been hit or miss. The more expensive ones sometimes are just as dry as this one, so... Excuse me, my body is... Making funny noises. So I think. Sorry. I think that is all. Why can't I get this open? For today. And yes, this is my get out of bed hair look. I didn't have time to do it. I had to get ready, run off the door. And so this is what you get. And then my ultimate makeup settings for again. Ah, it always makes me jump. And I don't know if you're supposed to like, I didn't even read it, if you're supposed to like pat it dry or just like let it air dry, but I tried to let it air dry. So anyway, this is my final look. Uh, sometimes I do foundation, but not often. I don't really like everything caked on my face. But if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other video ideas, please leave them in the comments below. This will most likely be posted later in the day, so I'm sure it'll be different and there'll be a new one already in a couple hours. But bye guys.